guys! Welcome back! Welcome back to Adrian Stories. I'm Adrian and we are back with the next episode of El Hyber. And we're actually almost done with clearing most of the map. We have this huge forest that you can see towards the east. Uh, let me point the arrow correctly. And then we have the northern side with uh, the circle of the sun. So I did a few things off screen. I bought, uh, actually sold stuff. And uh, I prayed, I prayed a lot uh, to get to 90 dexterity, which is uh, quite feasible actually in chapter 1 it seems. Now why did I want to get to 90 dexterity? I wanted to get here because what weapon? Only I wanted to buy the longbow to be honest. And the longbow is a super awesome weapon, it does 20 more points of damage. We're not going to equip it just yet. Because we are going to lose the 7 point bow accuracy. But once we level up, we are going to equip the longbow. For now, we're still going to use this assassin's bow. I also did some testing, by the way. Um, did some testing off screen to see exactly what where bow making exactly takes us. So, bow making, it seems, uh, to max out the uh, bow making you need to invest about five levels in total uh, because the last couple of bows require six learning points and then ten, ten learning points and the disappointing part is that the last bow you can craft isn't even the strongest bow in the game yeah no joking it's not even the strongest one it's uh it does 150 points of damage while the dragon bow we which we can buy even in chapter 1, uh, does 165 points of damage. So overall, you actually get uh, pretty screwed with bow making. So it seems that I accidentally chose a very crappy skill to max out in. Uh, let's uh, kill the bloodflies, I guess. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Seriously? Ah, oh, fine. Let's use some regular arrows because I don't want to waste the... Uh... Come on. Come on. Okay. And you, my friend. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, actually... Oh, did... Wait a second. Did the... the fire arrows basically bounce off? That's interesting. Now I'm gonna use the fire arrows. Eh, eh, eh. Stay here, my friend. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna use the fire arrows on the undead. Because they're especially effective. So do we have any King Sorrel in this uh, graveyard? Because we desperately need some new King Sorrels. Uh, Rusty Sword, Meadow Knotweed. This is the Tomb of Anubis. And I really... I think it's a boss fight down there right now. I really don't feel equipped, to be honest. Now let's see, what do we have? We have a bunch of goblin skeletons. Let's save the game. Because... Oh, they already aggroed me. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, if you can uh, just wait there. Yeah, so some of them seem to bounce off. Can I actually pick them up? Pick them up afterwards? That's interesting. The fire rate is not bad, actually. I am curious of the free aim mod. Yeah, they do bounce off. Interesting. Is it because... Uh... Ah, I see. So they actually make contact when he's near the wall. So can I pick them up or... No, I can't pick them up. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so let's see. Have one more goblin skeleton over there. And let's see if we can. Yeah, manage to jump. Okay, so uh, yeah. And then we have um, what you call it? Actually, how much damage do we do with the longbow? Let's check. Well, we actually... Do we do... 
Do we do more damage with this longbow? Ooh. Yeah, so our fire rate is not the same. It's obviously slower, but we do more damage. Now, this is a, this is a pickle. This is quite the pickle. Hmm. Now, I kind of want to draw the rest of the undead in, because there's going to be some skeletons. Where be the skeletons? Oh, there they are. Kind of want to draw... Maybe, if possible, all of them at once. So, there's one skeleton over there. Uh, where is your buddy? Where is your buddy? I know you have several buddies somewhere. Oh, okay. So, three buddies. Okay, that it? You free? Okay. I'm just gonna bring you back to the de uh, graveyard where you belong. Basically, just taking you home. I have a feeling that these guy guys escaped. <laughs> okay. Let's try to jump. Uh, try to jump again. Maybe? Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, please don't climb up. Okay. This is good. Now, j just wait over there if you can. Okay. Oh, we're out actually out to fire arrows. Oh, let's use the razor arrows then. Wow. Are the razor arrows actually more effective? They can't be, can they? Still, I'm not gonna complain. Now I know, technic technically, we could use the same strategy and handle all of the skeletons down there. We could technically, with a bit of effort, just pull them up here. Uh, face them against the wall. Basically force them to get stuck behind the wall. So what do we have down there? I'm actually kind of scared to, to check. Oh, we have sarcophagi now. A sword, a torch, and an old letter. Any monsters down here? Any mobs? Oh, we have grave moss. So, let me guess. I cannot interact with this one, right? But I'm guessing if I do... I'm gonna... Ooh, King Sorrel. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. I had one goblin berry left. Uh, let's uh, pop some fish soup. Uh, F2. Also bought some fish to cook. And because I spent a few days praying and basically going for my finances, don't have a lot of money left actually. I have what? 2,000 gold pieces and uh, not a lot of arrows left. And after another session of arrow buying, uh, let's read the note. Is the same? Is it the same note? So everything has... Yeah, the mighty enemy. Yeah, it's the same note from Gothic 2 for Inubis. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Now, this... Um, this forest... Has a way different structure than what we've... Uh, grown used to. So let's see, do we have any other undead prowling about? I kind of want to clear the forest of monsters, first of all. Before I start running around like an idiot. Because I know this forest is filled with a lot of creatures uh, that weren't there before. Like orcs, like wargs, like trolls, like extra bandits. So... Or goblin skeletons. So, bunch of creatures we have to be really careful of. Okay, so this is behind Onar's farm. And by the way, I heard that once we reach 150 dexterity, I think, our movement animation changes. Uh, I think we actually get sprinting 
speed or a running default speed. So we should be able to move faster from point A to point B. And this is the goblin cave, isn't it? Yeah, and I uh, forgot to lockpick this uh, chest. Oh man, it's so nice right now that we don't break as many lockpicks. 90 dexterity, and we can actually even get to 93 now. Because of that king sorrel. Okay, let's see. Can we kill them or just wound them? Let's see, how much damage are we going to take? Okay, that was, uh, that was lucky because he kept running around me like an idiot instead of just attacking me. Okay. That was sheer luck, by the way. Sheer freaking luck. So, staff mace, meadow knotweed, a couple of locked chests. And uh, let's uh, eat the stews. Hilda stews, because once we become a, a member of any guild, Hilda will stop feeding us. And that's gonna suck, obviously. Uh, right, left, right, right, left. This is gonna be one of those annoying. Oh, we actually broke a lockpick. Oh, actually gotta be. Oh, at least we got a, a couple of lockpicks in exchange. You gotta be careful, because until we're a uh, 100 dexterity, we can still lose lockpicks. And now I actually think I overbought lockpicks. I think I still have 20 left. Eh, it should last us for a while. Yeah, okay. So the big dark forest in the east. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Here is if our uh, resources are going to last. So let's see. What do we have? I saw a couple of lurkers. Yeah, yeah. They're near the pond, all right. Uh, gotta be careful uphill. Where we have no visibility. So the next level up we'll have to invest in... Ah! Don't kill me. The next level up will have to invest in um, dexterity. Uh, boom. No, sorry. Archery. Yeah, archery. And afterwards, we're going to invest in armor crafting. That's going to be the, the path. So I think we can get one more level out of chapter one. Maybe two. I doubt we can get two. I know we can get one. But well, we're going to make the attempt and see what happens. So, let's see. Uh, first of all, let's heal up. Because I remember some goblin skeletons being around here. And since this is a hiver and we have shit visibility everywhere. Let's start on the right side. Is this a maple I can chop down? No. Is this a maple I can chop down? No. Okay. So first of all, let's uh, scout out some vantage points, which we don't seem to have. Okay, ah, these are the young wolves for Pepe. Oh man, they're quite far actually. Okay. Forty experience points, huh? Well, not a lot. But at least they do have uh, teeth. Which are gonna be good. Means more razor arrows. So let's save the game. Let's see what we have up ahead. So most of all we need a vantage point. I guess we... Let's see. Is the stump usable? Uh, I think stumpy might save our lives again. Uh, let's see. What's the angle? Yeah, I think this is the angle we can use to jump in. Okay, so technically we can use this one to fight wargs. Good to know. We can also climb up here. What do we have? Mole rats, huh? Eh, mole rats should not be a threat. A uh, bunch of woodland berries. A uh, field raider in the distance. Okay, so, so far so good. It's just uh, easy mobs. Yeah. 
Yeah, still haven't found the recipe for the woodland berry broth. If I can't find it in chapter 1, it means that Sagita might have the only copy. In which case, we just have to buy it. Don't see any other option. Uh oh. Oh! That's a stone golem. I don't think we can handle a, a stone golem because one of the changes they did from what I read from Masti's uh, change logs is that he made golems not stagger anymore when you hit them. And I'm not entirely certain how you're supposed to fight them now if they don't stagger when you hit them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should not underestimate field raiders. They can kill us in uh, high enough numbers. So pop some uh, stew. Save the game. So we need about 5,000 experience points to level up. I think it's possible to get 5,000 experience points in this uh, forest. And... Is this another stumpy we can use for enemies? Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill your body as well. Chill, chill. Uh, let's see, which part of the forest are we in now? Okay, so we're actually nearing the edge of the forest. And as we near the edge, it's where we'll encounter the wargs and... The orcs. And the undead, of course, at the end. Okay. Okay. Have to progress super carefully. I'm probably gonna do a double take and check the plants afterwards, like this guy over here. Or like this guy over here. Oh man, we have to put points into Will of the Wisp as well. Because Old Willow can now actually pick up items, not just find them. A young Maple. Thank you very much. Still not certain if these trees are gonna respawn. So yeah, archery. Mm, I gotta say, compared to what you get from blacksmithing, armor smithing, weapon smithing... Ah, uh, bandits. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's uh, pop some fish soup. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting fight. Uh, let's go over here. Gonna rip you to pieces. Okay. Okay, almost died, but that guy is an archer, right? Oh, he's he's just stuck. Okay. Okay, save the game. Oh, he had an apple. Oh, he had an apple. Uh, not fair, not fair. You can attack me and I can't attack you? Well, now I know how everybody feels. Yeah, none of my shots are connecting, actually. It's not fair. Okay. Now it's fair. You're dead and I'm not. That's the definition of fairness. Okay, and I think there are more bandits up in this cave. Save the game. Take, take them out one at a time. Okay, what do we have up here? More shoomies. And let's see. Oh yeah, okay, so it... Bends to the right. Okay, so what do we have inside? Gonna rip you to pieces. Oh, it's a lot of bandits. Ah. Oh, and that low life. I died. So the guy got me with a crossbow, I think. But I didn't get his buddy. So this is gonna be... Eh, don't do that. Don't do that. How dare you waste a razor arrow? They're expensive, dude. I'm gonna rip you to pieces. Okay, try not to die. Nope. Okay, so the trick is... Let's pull 
Let's build just one guy at a time. Okay. So he keeps having this uh, Razor Arrow equipped after I load the game. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna rip you okay. To Keep the bow primed. Come on, who's gonna show up? Come on. Somebody show their faces. Somebody show their faces. You're okay. I have no issues ah. dealing with you first. Oh, that, low life. that guy was a master bowman, but judging by his position, that's interesting. Man, the, ah, this is not easy. Okay, this is not easy. Means he can fire faster than me. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Okay, change of tactics. This isn't working. Let's uh, try to pull the first guy. Try to pull him in melee. Uh, switch to regular arrows. Okay, that's exactly what I want to happen. Okay. Man, he did a lot of damage in just one hit. That was a lot of damage. Wow, was that a critical hit? Okay, at least one bandit is dead. Small progress, but progress. Okay. Oh! Okay, th this works. Okay. Well, you're an idiot, so... I'm not... Uh-oh. That guy is not an idiot, though. Uh, is he chasing me? Is he chasing me? Save the game, just in case. Okay. So, I saw him draw... Where the hell is he? Where the hell is he? Is he stuck in a corner? Oh, I see him. Okay. Okay, I can... Uh, I can live with that. Can you live with that? And we can both live with that. So, Militia Crossbow, huh? Where the hell did you drop your weapon, though? Hmm... True. Ah, there it is. I can't seem to target... Can I please target your weapon, sir? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, any other bandits I missed? Nope, I think that's it. And that's all of them. So, that was, what, five bandits in total? They're actually pretty powerful. So, steel bar, frying pan. Ooh, a chest. What does this chest contain? What were these bandits hiding? So, what do they have? 41 gold pieces. You put such a complicated lock for 41 gold pieces. Come on, man. That's disappointing. That's disappointing as hell. Okay, so six lumps of iron ore. And we can smelt them into steel bars later on. So that is something. Oh, reptile skins. I almost missed these. Okay. Uh, let's eat some fried meat. So I think we unlock... I, I'm not sure exactly at what base level we unlock uh, health regeneration. I think it's maybe... 90 or 100 dexterity. Not entirely certain. Okay. So first I want to check this area out. Hmm, this is interesting. Can I actually climb up here? Ooh. What do we have in the distance? Wolves? Are they just simple wolves? Or are there works in the area? Did we... Oh, can we one-shot wolves now? This is interesting. This is most interesting. So where the hell are the orcs? Uh, there is a stumpy. There's a stumpy over there. Okay, so we're st 
still near the road. Okay, so technically we can get up. Can we get inside in a pinch? That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I have the mind of a child. I have a mind of a teenager. Okay, let's find some orcs. Let's un I know I'm compulsively saving because this uh it's a scary area actually. No visibility. No idea what I'm facing. No idea what's in that camp. Yeah. So far here. So this is the hunter's camp. Aha. Uh -huh. Why did you have to drop the razor arrow? Ooh, shadow be skin. It's actually very valuable. Well, it's gonna be very valuable. Can make armor out of it. Armor is going to be interesting in chapter 2. I heard, but don't quote me on this one, that we could potentially even remake our old magical ore armor. Bloodfly, lizards. I think we can pull the lizards to the tent. Bloodfly isn't really a, a threat. And where does this take us? It takes us back west. Hmm, is this a maple? No, it's not. So let's check out this area first. Am I hitting some goblin skeletons? I swear I was hearing goblin skeletons. Unless I'm hearing things. Which is very likely. I'm in a forest filled with scary creatures. The lizard should be down there. Okay. How many lizards? One, two, three? Okay. Uh, let's try to pull all of them at once. Uh, get on top of the tent. Get on top of the tent, sir. Thank you. Perfect! Okay, this is good. This is actually perfect. We could even handle the wargs this way. If they are close enough. Wonder if we can... Nah. Can be. I doubt we can actually handle the golem through arrows, right? They would make the golem susceptible to arrows, would they? Nah, I very much doubt it. Okay. Was that an orc? Yes. Yes, it was. I was actually wondering where the orcs fucking were. Okay, let's, uh... Uh-oh. Well, let's, uh, wait down here. Don't climb up, you son of a bitch. You're not allowed to climb up. You're actually doing some reasonable damage to him. Where the hell is he going? Sir. Sir. Where are you going? Okay, this is good actually. So, there's an orc elite, which means there's gotta be additional orcs behind them. So, this had to be their captain. So, orcish war sword. A war skin. So, I'm guessing that beyond this hill. Yep, it's gotta be an orc pack, right? So, yep, there's the wargs, there's the blood flies. Okay, okay, let's save the game. Okay, uh, how are we doing on ammo? 65, 190 razor arrows. Okay, doable. Manageable. Okay. 
I shouldn't play with these orcs because they have some very quick attack animations now. And they can easily overwhelm us. Uh oh. Are they still chasing us? Yes, they are. But are they both chasing us? Oh, come on! That was a bullshit death. Yeah, some bullshit, man. That was bullshit. Oh, fine, fine. Uh, let's just pull the works from a distance. Try this one again. Yeah, fuck off, Bloodfly. Gonna deal with you later. That was a bullshit death. How the hell did he climb up here? You're not allowed, sir. Where are you going? Okay, you can actually... Where you can actually... Wait. Did we just free shot a warg? That wasn't just luck, right? That just happened. Does our longbow do that much damage? Or did we actually just get three... Very strong hits in? Hmm. You gotta test this out a bit. Tell me that wasn't just accident. Tell me that... Tell me that's repeatable. Because if it's repeatable... You can potentially... Where's your friend? I know this warrior had a, f <clears throat> had a friend somewhere. That's a boar. Small blood fly. Okay. Uh, let's handle the small blood flies, I guess. Actually, more concerned about what I'm not seeing. Where is the war guy I'm not seeing? It's the enemy you're not seeing that should scare you. Uh, those are wolves. So we can technically one shot them now. No cause for concern. Okay. Actually doing pretty well. The longbow was actually a clever purchasing decision. I'm actually very happy with the thousand gold we just spent. So this is the lake with the lurkers, right? Or is this a different lake? Oh, this is a different lake, actually. Uh, so where are we exactly? Aha, I see. So we gotta use those two lakes as a reference point. This place is actually huge. Let me let me just check exactly compared to the rest of the map. Yeah, this place is like fifteen percent of the map. They added uh, quite a bunch of landmass. Good addition. Good addition. And because some of these mobs are actually very manageable. Is this a maple? Yes, it is. There's a troll somewhere around here as well. That's the thing. I'm not excited to meet him. Because I don't think we can. We actually have the tools to handle him. Unless I bring him to the same area where I handled a couple of trolls. Where was the place? Um, Elvrich's prisoner tent. Unless I bring him there. Which I kind of don't want to do. So this path should be towards... Is that a maple? Yes, it is. Uh-oh. Okay, that was a uh, weird as hell. Did it actually cancel my... It actually canceled my uh, wooden bullet animation. Didn't it? Okay, so now we, we're committed to the stone golem, I guess. How are we gonna handle him? 
Son of a bitch. He's gonna be able to climb up. Oh, we can actually damage him with arrows. That's a... Uh... Huh. That's a bit... Well, come over here. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, to be honest, because it's just rock. I mean, yeah, technically if you... Fire 10,000 crossbow bolts at him. Inevitably, some stone is gonna chip away. But if we can just kill stone golems with arrows, that opens up a lot of possibilities, really. Okay, one more shot. Yeah. So, uh, that was interesting. <clears throat> Although it did cancel uh, me getting the wooden bullets. So the question is... <clears throat> if I go back to the tree... I actually see it from here. Is there another stone surprise golem somewhere? No. Okay. So if I go back to the tree... Aha! So because the animation didn't correctly finish, I can chop it down again. Interesting to know that uh, we can actually survive one hit from a golem. It's a uh, good knowledge to have. So what do we have over there? A beautiful sunset over that, over that small lake. Should be the small lake in the south, right? Okay, okay, okay. So I'm starting to get a sense of direction in this forest. And this is what? A small mountain? It's not... It's not very well drawn on the map, but I can see it. And this area should be empty of mobs, technically, right? Should be the undead that we clear to the right. Should be the camp to the left. Okay, so let's uh, head over this rise. Or technically, we went far enough so that other works should have reset by now. My instinct says there is a work here somewhere. Unless the idiot managed to... Huh? What did I see? What did I see in the distance? A mole rat? I swear, a war is gonna just jump me out of nowhere. I'm... I feel it in my gut. And boars. Can we one-shot boars? Almost. Almost. Okay, so let's see. What else do we have? Uh, we have mole rats. Yeah, why not? Bye bye, ratsies. How are we doing on experience? I'm gonna level up soon. Yeah, so a couple of levels seem to be feasible. Um, what do we have? Wolves. I think there are orcs on the other side as well. There's just one lone wolf. Okay. So we're gonna take it one. Uh... One side of the road at a time. So this side of the road seems to be clear. What else do we have on the other side? There's gotta be orcs, right? Somewhere. Can't be just one orc elite. There's gotta be more. And so close to Onar's farm. Aha! I knew there was a orc somewhere. Is it just one? <clears throat> Three of them, actually. Hmm. So if we pull them in this direction... We're gonna jump down here. If I jump up here... They're gonna go that way or that way, right? Or they can just climb... Regularly walk up here. Well, it's gonna be interesting. 
But if we can free shot them, maybe we're gonna kill them fast enough. Uh, let's make the attempt. See what happens. Maybe even pull a couple at a time. Don't really need to pull all three at once. Okay. Go over here, go over here, draw my bow. Oh! Oh! Okay, so they can go up enough to actually attack me. Interesting, so we need a vantage point. Okay. We need a vantage point. So, try to pull them this way, I guess. What happens if I go this way? That's the bandit camp, right? Okay. Maybe we can find Stumpy? Yeah, oh, they're still on my ass. Still on my ass. Nope. Maybe we can pull them to... Ooh, where's the... Oof, that was a close one. Ouchie! Maybe we can pull them towards the camp. I can still hear them chasing me. Yep. What the hell is that camp? Should be... A... Should be this way. Okay. Okay. Man, all four of them are chasing me. Well, that was a mistake to stop and eat my soup. Uh, I should have, uh, yeah, I should have put, um, I have an idea. Oh, I actually have a good idea. Uh, let's put this on four. I actually have an idea. Let's not deal with the works just now. What do we have on this side uh, up ahead? So let's, uh, hmm, have a dismembered body. We get 40 experience from burning him. Thank you very much. So let's see, what do we have uh, up on the hill? Let's check out the terrain first. Not a lot of vantage points. It's not a very creative uh, area of the map. It's mostly flat. Uh, let's see, where are we exactly? Okay. So it seems to end in a corridor, in a dead end over here. So let's see, what do we have? What do we have? Hitting a lot of crows. So what is there in the distance? Foggy area, zombies! Another zombie. Couple of zombies. And I'm all out of fire arrows, huh? Can I actually get them stuck in the lower skeleton, huh? Can I get them stuck in this uh oh, it's actually good. How much damage are we doing? Eh, it's not bad actually. Okay. So we killed it. Oh! He actually managed to climb over. That was a. Uh... Oh, just die already. Tr trying to put you to rest, man. I'm actually doing you a favor here. Okay, come on, come on. Just die. I don't want to go back to Bennett and buy more. Oh! No, no, no. No, you don't. Okay, lower skeleton, lower skeleton, zombie, zombie. Uh, we don't need a lot of experience to level up. Can we use any... Any magic to maybe... Take out one of them? How much mana do we have? Let's unequip this one. Actually, no, let's keep this one equipped. Don't need the strength. Ring of Astral Power. Let's eat a couple of blue elders. Have a goblin berries, some grave moss, king sorrel. K 
can't equip this one, but maybe the small firestorm is gonna do some damage to those couple of. Okay, that wasn't a lot of damage. I ex expected more damage than that. Ooh, yeah, 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 not good, not good. Hmm, 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 hmm. So, let's see. Ooh, is that a regular skeleton over there? So, let's see. Ice Shadow, Destroy Undead. It's like a large fireball. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe a large fireball? Maybe? Let's see. That was uh, not a lot of damage, actually. Is it just one skeleton? Oh, there's three skeletons. Hmm. Can we actually pull them towards the camp? What? Wait, what? They get stuck in the tree. They get stuck in the tree. And here I was trying to cook up clever tactics. And they just get stuck in the tree. Okay. I guess that happens. Uh, did manage to kill a skeleton. Let's see. Are they still chasing me? Yes, but look. You either both chase me or none of you chase me. Can I lead you to the... Uh oh. They're actually very close by. Okay. So let's be super careful. Do I have time to pop one of these. Yes, I do. Okay. Gonna lead them to the hunter's camp. Okay. Let's go this way. Climb up here. So I can't believe that we managed to deal with a... Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No! I should have saved my game right there. Why the hell did I not save my game? We actually made such good progress. Uh, okay, you know what? Uh, let's handle those first couple of zombies. Uh, how many are there? One, two, three zombies. We actually just pull one. I think we can actually handle one uh, in basic archery. Oh yeah, we actually. Wait, are we using the composite bow? Wait. Why is he using the? It's a bit confusing. Why is he using the? Master stance. Because our fire rate seems to be a bit too faster. Uh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. You're not allowed to kill. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna join you. I'm not gonna join the undead. Oh, okay. Ooh. I was close. Okay, I was close. This graveyard, man. This graveyard. Oh, 30 more experience and we can level up. So what do we have up, uh, up there? If I pull just one skeleton, am I gonna pull just one skeleton? Or am I gonna pull everybody? So how many arrows do we have left? Not many, actually. Ah, this is so frustrating. Kill medium wounds, light. Uh, what is this? Fireball. I don't know. I guess let's. We could use the large firestorm, I, or the large fireball, whatever. Don't see any reason to not use it. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, pop a torch. Let's see who's gonna chase us. How many are gonna chase us? One, two, just a couple? Hmm. I was expecting more. We can handle. I think a couple of skeletons at a time can be doable. Still chasing me? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay. Where the hell is that? Uh, okay, perfect. Is he gonna get stuck in the tree? So yeah, the big skeletons, the two-handed ones. Hmm. It does feel like they have the same attack pattern, though. Really? 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 Oh, of course, when I jump down, you suddenly magically figure out a way how to get out of that. Ah. Was that like a critical hit? Ah, I missed the target. Come on, come on. How much damage do I do with a Razor Arrow against these guys? Whoa! It's actually more than I expected. Whoa! It's actually more than I expected. Huh. Well, we can actually go back to Onar's farm now. Um... Put five points into archery. And since we have a King Sorrel, and we also have some more Grave Moss right now, can I actually cook up a potion of um, Stone Skin or Damage Resistance, whatever they want to call it? I'm guessing this is the right road. Yep. And uh, see how much that's going to affect our overall resistances. Because I haven't made one yet. I'm also slightly surprised that I didn't encounter more orcs. Expected way more orcs than, than that elite. But I'm guessing the rest are maybe on the style with the wargs. Those four wargs. Hmm... So let's uh, pop a quick visit to Wolf and Sagita. I think this is going to be enough for this episode right now. There's what? A couple of skeletons left over there and we can uh, handle those in the next episode. So overall, yeah, I'm feeling confident that we can clear the rest of the map. And probably the Black Troll is going to be the last thing left alive on the map and afterwards we can just uh, join the mercenaries yeah technically we could join them right now but I think it's more of a challenge to do it this way okay so I remember I left a uh, shadow beast and maybe a couple of uh, scavengers and field raiders alive in this area yeah 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 I should save the game just in case, shouldn't I? I can easily die to being stupid. Okay, let's kill the field raider first. Like, like this. Wolfie, oh, okay, that was actually perfect. That was actually perfect. That was actually... Oh. Not super perfect. I love how that scavenger basically just ran in a circle. Okay, let's pop a quick... Uh... Really? The animation in the show? Huh. Okay, let's kill these couple of field raiders and be done with them. Okay, and one more. So yeah, put five points into archery right now. 
And afterwards we can just... Uh... I hope there's not any beasts left on this side. But with the exception of that shadow beast, I don't, shadow beast, I don't think there should be. Still... Let's be... Let's be cautious. I'm not sure if I left any wargs alive in this forest or not. My instinct says no. But you never really know. Yeah, that's the bandit camp over there, so we should be fine. Okay, so let's go and uh, craft a couple of potions. Oh wait, am I stupid? Did we have an alchemist bench on Onar's farm? Hmm... I think we might have had. Let's check. Sigita, am I stupid? What potions can you teach so? me to brew? Elixir of life, elixir of fire. No, thank you. Heal me. Heal. What? Tell me. Uh, oh. Should I buy the berry broth? Yeah, fine. Let's buy it and let's buy the recipe as well. Let's buy the stupid recipe. So what does it need? Ten woodland berries and a bottle of water. Stir and cook until it's done. Oh. Smart kid. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So let's brew. Let's brew potion of dexterity. And let's brew. Do we have 50 woodland berries? How many woodland berries do we have anyway? <clears throat> oh, we don't actually have. <clears throat> oh, we actually need water. We don't have enough water bottles. So an elixir of protection. Free. Oh, don't tell me we don't have enough skeleton bones. We probably do not have enough skeleton bones. How many skeleton bones do we have? Uh, teeth. Where are the bones? Those are goblin bones. Where are the human bones? Um, am I blind? Where are the... Ah, uh, 11. Okay, I see them. So, well... This is a moisture trip, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we might as well put 5 points into marksmanship. Sell the composite longbow. And yeah, I'm still debating to myself whether I want to invest 3 more levels, because th that's the cost. That's the annoying cost. We have to invest 3 more levels into bow making if we really want to max out the skill. And the last bow isn't uh, all that amazing. The description of the last bow, called the Steel Bow, says that uh, you can even use it to kill a troll. Although I'm a bit suspicious of that, to be honest. I'm suspicious that we can actually kill a troll with that. Because if we can, why not just use a Dragon Bow that does 15 more points of damage? So yeah, skeptical. It makes me very skeptical. Uh, let's just put five more points into archery. And then we're just gonna keep the rest for armor smithing, training the will of the wisp. And uh, yeah. I steal Sentenza's money. Yeah, I stole Sentenza's money. Oh yeah, I also have a bunch of these guys I need to fight. Wolf, uh, want to learn about archery? Teach me the bow. Thank you. Not so far. Found a new task kit. Uh, I think I'm gonna spend the rest of my money on arrows. Uh, these restores 20 hit points and it gives us plus one health. So we can technically brew what? Ten of them, so that's gonna be plus. 13 maximum health? Wait a minute. Eh, it's not bad. What do you What I need? I need a bunch of arrows, sir. What do you I need you to make me poor. And yeah, I'm really regretting not going the path of smithing right now. I mean, technically 
towards the end of chapter 5, if we have enough gold and learning points, we could learn it. So, 336 arrows. Uh, let's just buy as much as we can. Let's spend everything we have. And we have zero gold! Zero gold and 399 arrows. Uh, staff mace. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching. Gonna see you in the next episode when we are probably gonna finish clearing the eastern side of the map. And then we can focus on the northern side. Meanwhile, I'm gonna look for people that can I'm gonna look some, for some water vendors. And uh, we also have to clear the undead somehow in Inubis' uh, cave over there. But I don't really feel prepared, to be honest. I don't even feel remotely prepared to do that. Because first of all, it's it's going to require magic. I don't think we can fight an undead mage so soon. Especially if a shadow mage spawns. Because if a shadow mage spawns, we're screwed. We have one destroy undead spell. And I kind of want to use that for Inubis himself. So yeah, we're, uh, we're in the pickle. Probably gonna have to wait until chapter 2 or 3. Till we have way better gear. Because I don't think how we can do this in chapter 1. Which is actually fine by me, because these kinds of fights should be... Should be goals you set for yourself in the game. And you feel strong enough, you should be able to handle them. So, Helena. Damn it. What's up? You're doing some nice yoga. Man, she has some really nice uh, core strength to do that. I've seen people doing that. You need a lot of body strength to do that. Show me. What can I? Uh, do you have any water? Thank you. Very oh, but I don't have any. Go yeah, I'm an idiot. I don't even have the gold to buy the water for it. <laughs> okay, guys, gonna gonna see you next time. And uh, until then, as always, remember the most important story in the world is your own. Cheers guys and gals, and take care of yourselves.